So the other day, a couple was asking me, uh, doctor, if I go ahead with IVF, is it absolutely necessary that I will have a twin pregnancy? This is what I've heard from most couples who are, you know, consulting me or meeting me to discuss about their IVF treatment. Now, in an IVF cycle, what happens is you are given injections to stimulate your ovaries to grow eggs. Once your follicles are ready, your egg retrieval is done. Fertilization is done in the laboratory. The embryos are cultured in the laboratory. Whether you will have a singleton pregnancy or a twin pregnancy depends on how many embryos we put back into your uterus. Ideally speaking, you should have a healthy discussion with your doctor and discuss the pros and cons of transferring one embryo versus two embryos. In my practice, I never ever transfer more than two embryos. And in an ideal scenario, I would prefer to transfer one embryo at a time so that you have a singleton pregnancy and not a twin pregnancy. Twin pregnancies are usually riskier than singleton pregnancies. Women who have conceived twins have a slightly higher risk of having miscarriage or preterm labor or low birth weight babies. That said, for younger women with no health issues, absolutely normal uterus, you can consider transferring two embryos at a time. But your options should be only one embryo or two embryos and not more than that.